I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you are currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Gemini, Six of Swords and the Lovers for the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. So this is, this is telling me that with this um, Six of Swords, it's, it's can, it can be about you and your person maybe having a fight or maybe even a breakup the Six of Swords, and um, you could, you could have realized that um, after this fight or this breakup, that you didn't want to uh, maybe lose this person, because you could, you could have felt like you're dealing with a strong soulmate, because the Lover's card is here, the card that's below the word pass. Some of you could feel like you're dealing with a twin flame. That can be what you get with the lovers. Because the lovers can be about um, the strength of two. It can be about a deep love. It can be about a coming together. It can be about a union. It can also be about falling in love. So, um, like I said, Gemini, you broke up with your person, or the connection didn't work out, and maybe it was just a fight, but you realized that you weren't ready to totally disconnect from this person. Because the Six of Swords can be about coming out of raging waters, or some type of storm, and then all of a sudden, things are smooth, because though... The, the um, waters are still now, and um, it can be about moving into calmer waters. So yeah, for a lot of you, you're not ready to detach from this person, but there was some type of fight, some type of breakup between you and your person, but you felt like there was a deep connection. Now, for, like I said, for some of you, you, you fell in love with this person, and there was a breakup here. I'm just looking at those swords in the boat break up, but you were not ready to separate from this person. You knew that this person was a, so, a strong soulmate, and like I said, for some of you, you felt that this is your twin flame. Yeah, so you maybe for some of you, you with the six of swords here, you decided to maybe friend zone this person because you kind of wanted to keep them in your life, even though the two of you. Things didn't work out, but you did. You two did come out of something that was maybe traumatic, and you, you realized that you just wanted to be at peace with this person, just move into calmer waters. And yeah, I'm getting that a lot of you you still wanted to keep the connection though. Yeah, you didn't let go. You both are still in the same boat. Now, let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Three of Swords, and it's with the Three of Cups. So the Three of Swords, it's, it's telling me that you're actually um, hurt. Yeah. For a lot of you Geminis, yeah, your heart is broken. You got hurt because... Um, the Three of Cups is here. It's telling me that you wanted to come together with this person. Um, you wanted this to be something that the two of you would celebrate. Because the Three of Cups can be about celebration. It can be about coming together. For some of you, this is someone that you... Um, this is someone that came back into your life, and for some of you, it's someone that um, you're dealing with, or someone you've been dealing with for a while. 
but it looks like the three of swords the card above the word present. Yeah, so you're hurt. And you don't you don't want your person to know that you're hurt even more than you were thinking you would be. Because like I said, the six of swords is just telling me that this was a breakup. I'm just looking at those swords sticking in the, in the boat. Yeah, she's the DM. Three of swords, the card above the word present. She's hiding behind a tree. And she's got her eyes closed, so yeah. Some of you are very hurt that the two of you are not coming together like you were hoping the two of you would. You were hoping that this would be a celebratory come together. Or you were hoping that the two of you um, would work things out in a better way. Yeah, and you were hoping the two of you would celebrate together and rejoice and be happy together. But it, it looks like Three of Swords. Um, yeah, maybe you feel rejected in some kind of way. I don't know what happened. But like I said, I'm just getting for a lot of you, this was a breakup. But you're not ready totally to detach from this person. But let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We've got the Six of Wands and the Hangman. So, the Six of Wands can be about victory, celebration. And it's with the Hangman. Um, the Hangman is telling me that your person is confused. They could be confused about what went wrong, what happened. Um, they, they were hoping for this connection to be victorious. Uh, they could have been hoping for um, success with you. Because the Six of Wands, the card above the word challenge, that's about success, victory, and recognition. Now, yeah, they, they know that you're a strong soulmate, Gemini. Yes, they do. Because um, the Six of Wands, it's the type of energy where if you're in a relationship, the two of you have have a deep connection. And it could feel like the two of you are mirroring each other with the Six of Wands. Um, six of Wands, you get fire of balance where the two of you feed off of each other energetically. So your person knows that you're their soulmate or they know that you're a twin flame if that's what this is. Because the Six of Wands... Um, that's my, actually, that's my twin flame or soulmate card in the deck because um, there's a lot of great chemistry here. And it's leaving your person confused. Yeah. But you, you don't want them to know you're, you're, you're hurt even more than you thought you would be. This is a breakup here. This is a falling apart, but you... You still, the two of you are still connecting, connected in some way. Like I said, for a lot of you, you put this person in the friend zone. Because you're not ready for a total breakup yet. So, let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the Queen of Wands. And it's with the Empress. So, yeah. Yeah, what I'm getting, the Queen of Wands is a very... Um, the Queen of Wands is very determined, very confident, could be egotistical, um, used to getting what she wants. So you could be feeling that you're determined that um, this is going to work. Maybe not even, maybe not now, maybe in the, maybe down the line. But you're still determined about this person. But I keep looking at the Three of Swords. Right now you're hurt. A lot of your feelings you're keeping to yourself. But deep down inside, Gemini, um, you're still determined. And you believe that this is going to work eventually. Yeah, with the Queen of Wands here. And there's a lot of attraction in this connection. They're attracted to you and you're attracted to them. And there's love here. The Empress, with the Empress, it can be about, it can be about deep love. 
coming abundance. So the alchemy is showing that right now you have confidence. You're feeling that you just believe deep down in your soul that this is going to work. It's what it's going to work out eventually. And because you feel like there's so much attraction that the two of you have for each other. And the way you two feel about each other is, is still there. But right now, it's just showing that it's not working right now. But you're confident. You feel that it, it's going to work eventually. It's going to work its way to um, be a relationship or it's going to fix itself. You're just determined. The Queen of Wands is determined. You have confidence that it's going to, the connection is going to um, be better down the line. Because there's so much great chemistry here. And you feel like you're dealing with, a, like I said, maybe a strong soulmate. So that's the reading that I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Gemini, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Gemini reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, you have to keep in mind the roles of the, of the people can be switched. Yes, you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. And remember, time is fluid. So this could be going on now or it could be going on in March. Time is fluid, so don't get stuck on the dates. So, Jim and I, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.